So I'm making this video today to show the aquaponics systems I've just finished creating here on campus at SUNY ESF for a master's research project in Syracuse, New York. See we got a bit of snow out there. I have built six identical systems, three to the right and three to the left. The gist of my experiment where as I will be feeding the fish in the fish tanks on this side, a commercial fish feed commonly used in aquaponics industry. And the fish over in these three fish, fish tanks will be fed a food waste fish feed that I'm going to be collecting from uh, the cafeteria, the food that would be previously thrown out to try to produce more food from that. Um, each aquaponic system has two main components, your hydroponic grow bed and your aquaculture fish tank. The fish tank is going to hold 50 gallons or about 190 liters of water and it will have 15 fish growing in there. It's uh, continuously pumped up. You can see I got a, a pump that's a, uh, a Sun Leaves uh, Dura pump, almost 400 gallons per hour. Constantly pumped up to the grow bed which is an 8 gallons or 30 liter volume and you can see now I want this grow bed to flood every 10 minutes and then drain and so I had to have the flow rate adjusted to 3 liters per minute and to accomplish this I just put this T piece in between the hose here and I just have a hose clamp and I just tighten the hose clamp with the screwdriver to restrict the flow coming out of there or to increase the flow coming out of there and I have that for uh, everyone in order to ensure that I get exactly a 10 minute flooding drain time in each cycle. Now uh, to drain, I'm using a bell siphon. This is commonly used in aquaculture fish tanks or aquaponics rather. Um, in the middle there I have a one inch diameter pipe that's uh, eight and a half inches long and surrounded is the bell. The bell is two inches in diameter and nine and a half inches long and then I PVC cemented the cap on it. And then I had originally drilled a hole in there to put an air hose down to the bottom, but I discovered that I actually didn't need it with my flow rate that I have going. This actually system will start firing up and draining, and the siphon will break all on its own without that air hose needed. Um, so I'm pretty lucky there. This is a three inch diameter pipe just to keep the gravel out with a bunch of holes drilled in it. Um, so that one inch drain pipe is PVC cemented down to a bulkhead. Uh, which is kind of hard to see here and then the bulkhead is actually drilled through the barrel and I again used aquarium grade uh, silicon and I, I don't get a single drip so I highly recommend using aquarium grade silicon uh, and it goes right to this 90 degree elbow piece and this is 3 quarter inch PVC drain pipe here and I use these 90 uh, degree elbow bows to drain the water um, and once the water reaches the top of that that drain pipe, the siphon's activated and it'll completely drain and then it breaks when it's down. And the system will run 24-7. Um, other parts that aren't yet in the fish tank, because uh, no need to have them in yet, I'm, I'm going to have an air stone and a heater that will uh, go to be plugged in back there and they'll be hanging in the fish tank to keep the water at around 77 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and keep the oxygen levels at 8 to 10 milligrams per liter. Uh, as you can see up here, I'm going to have some grow lights gr growing. They're going to be 400 watt metal halide bulbs bulbs to be growing the lettuce. Uh, there will be 12 heads of lettuce per fish tank or per uh, grow bed and they will be at different stages of growth so I can always harvest one row of lettuce and replant it and I'll still have different uh, stages of lettuce growing at all times in order to ensure a constant nutrient uptake and to reduce shock to the system. So uh, next semester I plan on getting the fish. I'm going to let the system run for the next few weeks in order to stabilize it and ensure no problems arise. And then I'll be getting the fish and the lettuce and I'll make another video then to show everyone how the updates are going.